The melon god ran over to the core because he knew that the core was the only person who could help him with this situation. He told the core that he lost the war and he needed help and new people to be created. And the core was willing to help, but the core made the melon god know that the only way he could help was by destroying himself. The melon god didn't want to do it, but the core said, well, not said, really, because it's a melon. But the core was able to tell the melon god that it would be okay because he would still be revived. So the melon god went on with the plan. And the core was destroyed. The melon god took one piece of the core for his creation. Well, all of them was his creation. But he left the other pieces of the core because he knew what they were going to turn into. And very soon, they turned into the pumpkin, corn, and apple races. And thankfully, the melon core was also revived in the process. The God's plan worked. And from the pumpkin, corn, and apple core grew the new gods. As the new pumpkin corn and apple gods emerged they all knew what they had to do so they took the last piece of the original melon core and started working on their plan back at mr main antagonist man's base actually we should probably give him a name now back at lord zion's base he ordered his guards to go and spy on what the gods were doing because he knew they were up to something after the war had been won by his army. <laughs> so his army agreed, took their weapons, and were off. When Lord Zion's spies made it to the gods' base, they saw that they were creating something. A new syringe, one that was all black. And that syringe, as we know today, was the Immortality Syringe. <sighs> Sir, we're back from spying on the gods. Great. Did you find any new information about that creation of theirs? Um, actually, we did. Yeah, it's, it's a new syringe that he, that they're creating. It's all black and it looks really powerful. But we didn't figure out what it does or anything. <sighs> what a disappointment. Uh, do you know the name of it? No, not yet, but... It probably has something to do with what you said. Hmm. I know those gods. They're probably creating something to make them never die again. After what happened in the war, I don't think the Melon God wants to get that damaged anymore. Do you think? You're probably right, sir. That's a very, very good idea. It's a lord to you guys, Lord Zion. But anyway, it's probably something to make them be immortal or something. Oh, like like an immortality syringe. That's probably what they're making. Yeah. Well, I really need that. Yes, sir. We'll go get it for you right away. Uh, that won't be needed. I think I can handle them. Anyway, um, I need to introduce myself to the other gods, do I not? Uh, I don't know, sir. Something that makes them never die could be pretty, pretty bad for you. Because they might be able to destroy you, lord. I'll be fine. Just, uh, stay at the base and make sure nothing happens. Yes, lord. It's kind of weird saying lord. I would rather say sir. 
Yes, sir. <sighs> Hopefully he's okay. Finally, the mortality syringe is complete. Now, none of us will fall to anyone who tries to attack us. Yes, good job, guys. I mean, we were just made, so I'm kind of surprised that we were able to do this, but yeah. Okay, guys, Um, who wants to go first? I'll go last. But remember, it only has five uses, and you can only hold it on you for four seconds, because any more on you will be too strong, and any less, and uh, it'll go away after 300, 200, or 100 years, depending on how many seconds. Okay, uh, I'll go first. I'll go um, next. I'll go third, I guess. All right, I'll go last. This is gonna be exciting. Immortality syringe? Hmm, I need to get that. Maybe if I can get it before maybe the melon god or something, then not only will I be immortal, but I'll take all of it, so I will be the most powerful. Also, why would they give it five uses with four gods? That just means one more person is gonna get it. Stupid gods. Okay, Melon God, are you ready? Yep. Let's do this. Not so fast, guys. Wait a minute. Who... Who is this? This is the person that attacked me. Watch out! This! <coughs> Melon God! Are you okay? I'm glad Pumpkin God got the immortality, but is Melon God okay? What did you do? Melon God! No, his head! Yes! Finally! I've done it! I killed the Melon God! And there's nothing you guys can do about that. But I'm not done yet. Ugh. No! Ugh. Yes! The immortality is mine! Ugh. One, two, three! Ugh. Hey, what was that about? I was about to be finished. I'm not letting you get the full power of the immortality. Good try! <laughs> Whatever. I already have 300 years of immortality, which should be enough to take over the world! Melon God, I'm so sorry that that happened. I, it's my fault. I could have saved you. How? The God... The creator of the other gods died like this. There has to be something we can do. There's no way we can just let him die like that. We can do this. We will bring you back, Moon God. If it's the last thing we do. After Lord Zion's second victory over the gods... He returned back to his base and... Uh, Mom? I I think that's enough. Oh, come on. I'm just telling them a story, and it's true. It's a true story. Oh, come on. Even if that is true... I mean, sure, it might be true, and it might be in the bubble. The, the bubble? What, what is that? It's the Bible for us. Oh, make makes sense. Even though it might be there, doesn't mean you have to tell them about it. They might get thoughts that they can get that immortality. And sure, I think they can if they tried, but it might not be the best thing. And there is no way that Lord Zion is still alive, right? Well, who knows? It could, it could be all true. I don't think, I don't think it's true. 
But next time, give them a story about, like, I don't know, how to be cool or something. I mean, if it really is true, wouldn't you want them to get it? I don't know, but it could probably cause lots of problems, and that would probably be bad. So I would just stick to making them normal kids.